hello everyone good morning good afternoon good evening or depending on the time we're reaching you guys welcome back to our channel so good to have you guys back here again compliments of the season we really appreciate you for your support and everything you do for this channel god bless you we've got a breaking news this one is really really um shocking it has touched so many people and a lot of persons notable persons across the globe have reacted to this desmond tutu archbishop and anti appetite veteran dies age 90 years i believe many people know that name that name sounds very familiar archbishop desmond tutu a very sad one because he's someone who fought a just cause and a lot of um, notable persons across the globe are speaking about it we'll bring you all of the details all that happened what led to his death and um, the circumstances surrounding his death in a moment but before we do guys please don't forget to give us a thumbs up click on the like button and if it's your first time you're very very welcome please hit on the subscribe button god bless you now to the news south africans archbishop desmond tutu one of the leaders of the anti-appetite movement has died at the age of 90 the president's office has said he was an outspoken critic of the country's previous brutal system of oppression against the country's black minority Desmond Tutu was awarded the Nobel Prize in 1984 for his campaign of non-violent opposition to South Africa's white minority rule. The passing of the Archbishop Emeritus Desmond Tutu is another chapter of bereavement in our nation's farewell to a generation of outstanding South Africans who have bequeathed us a liberated South African, President Cyril Ramaphosa said from the pavement of residence in South Africa to the pulpit of the world's great cathedrals and places of worship and the prestigious setting of the Nobel Peace Prize ceremony, the Ark distinguished himself as a non-sectarian, inclusive champion of universal human rights. Mr. Tutu was diagnosed with prostate cancer in the late 1990s and had been hospitalized several times in recent years to treat infections associated with his cancer treatment. Ultimately, at the age of 90, he died peacefully at the Oasis Frail Care Center in Cape Town this morning. Dr. Ramo Ramfela Mafeli, acting chairperson of the Archbishop Desmond Tutu, P. Trust and coordinator of the Office of the Archbishop said in a statement on behalf of the Tutu family, Dr. Mafela did not give details of the cause of the death. The statement described Mr. Tutu as a man who turned his own misfortune into a teaching opportunity to raise awareness and reduce the sufferings of others. It said, he wanted the world to know that he had prostate cancer and that the sooner it is detected, the better the chance of managing it. The statement added, courageous, gracious, and concern for the welfare of others to the very end. As Mrs. Tutu says, although he was not physically imposing, he had the inner strength of a lion. Meanwhile, a statement from the Nelson Mandela's foundation said the loss of the Archbishop was immeasurable. It said, he was larger than life, and for so many in South Africa and around the world, his life has been a blessing. His contributions to struggles against injustice locally and globally are matched only by the depth of his thinking about the making of liberatory futures for human societies. He was an extraordinary human being, a thinker, a leader, a shepherd. Our thoughts are with his family and friends at this most difficult time. Mr. Tutu worked tirelessly for the downfall of apartheid in South Africa, using his pupil as the first black bishop of Johannesburg and later archbishop of Cape Town to rally public opinion against racial inequalities. He received the Nobel Peace Prize in 1984 for his human rights works and celebrated South Africa's first democratic elections in 1994, calling the country's multiracial society a rainbow nation. Also, former Senate President Bukola Saraki has reacted to the death of South African's Archbishop Desmond Tutu. Reacting, Saraki in a tweet via his Twitter handle on Sunday joined South Africans, millions across the globe, to celebrate the positive impact that Tutu made in the world. 
He described the late archbishop as a calm and courageous leader who always spoke the truth to power. Calm yet courageous, Archbishop Desmond Tutu was a faith-based leader who always spoke truth to power. In his homeland, South Africa, he stood at the forefront of the liberation struggle. Across the continent and the world, he lent his voice to human rights issues, helping to make the world a better place. Today, as we join our South African brothers and sisters to mourn Archbishop Tutu's passage, we also join them and millions across the globe to celebrate the positive impact that he made on our world. We will all miss him, Saraki tweeted. President Cyril Ramaphosa said the death marked another chapter of bereavement in our nation's farewell to a generation of outstanding South Africans. Tutu, a Nelson Mandela's ally, ensured an end to the policy of racial segregation. They rose against the discrimination by the white minority government against the black majority in South Africa. Tutu was awarded the Nobel Prize in 1984 for his role in the struggle. Also, Prime Minister Boris Johnson tweeted, I'm deeply saddened to hear the death of Archbishop Desmond Tutu. He was a critical figure in the fight against apartheid and in the struggle to create a new South Africa and will be remembered for his spiritual leadership and irrepressible good humor. Archbishop of Canterbury also tweeted, Archbishop Desmond Tutu was a prophet and priest, a man of words and action, one who embodied the hope and joy that were the foundations of his life. Even in our profound sorrow, we give thanks for a life so well lived. May he rest in peace and rise in glory. It's a truly sad one. Um, he lived up to 90 years. We pray that the family, um, God will give them the grace um, to bear this loss. But um, right now, um, all over the world, his name is being mentioned because he's someone that left a mark. We know how well he fought for South Africa. You know, the, the, the racial um, injustice that was going on at the time. He was the one, he stood up, he used his people to, to, to fight against that. All of the people who've reacted to his death can see that and they've been, there's one thing they've always mentioned that he's someone that um, has the heart of the people. He fought for the people, not minding what will happen to his life, putting his life there in the line. All of the reactions. We pray that God um, rest his soul and give the family the grace to bear the loss. I know it's 90 years, but he has touched so many lives and is definitely going to be missed. Thank you once again for staying tuned. Please don't forget to like, share, and to subscribe. So I come your way again with more updates. Bye.